Hello LEGO fans and hello Star Wars fans, it's me Noah here with the CP Gamers, bringing you a closer look at my newest creation, which is The Last Jedi ATM-6 Walker. Before we get started, I want to say, please comment down below what you guys think of it, and also comment what you guys want to see next, because currently, I have no plans for what next LEGO mock I'm going to build, so I will definitely be receptive to anything you guys suggest that I think is a pretty good idea. So as I mentioned before, this is the ATM-6, or All-Terrain Mega Caliper 6 Walker, in full LEGO UCS scale. Now it's also called the Heavy Walker or the Gorilla Walker, but ATM-6 is the official name. It gets its name from the large cannon that's mounted on its back just above the head, and we'll get to that later with a review of my actual LEGO and how I built that. This walker is going to have a major role in the upcoming Star Wars film The Last Jedi, which comes out in December, but thanks to a combination of the trailers, official images, and some really cool fan art that I found online, I was able to create this LEGO creation in UCS scale before the movie came out. As far as I know, this is the largest and most accurate LEGO ATM-6 made yet. I'm sure other people are going to try it uh, after the movie comes out, but I wanted to get a head start. Mine uses approximately 5,000 pieces and is almost 3 feet tall, just under it. Surprisingly though, the build remains very sturdy, which was a huge consideration of mine when I was building it. It was probably the biggest consideration actually, because if you've seen my last build, when I built the UCS AT-AT, we had some, some uh, stability issues, so I have to take it apart every time I'm not displaying it, which was something that I didn't want to do with this walker. I want to leave it up as it is right now uh, for an indefinite period of time. So now I'm going to show you guys a detailed view of each aspect of the walker, starting from the bottom and working my way to the top. If you guys want to try and build one of these yourself, I really recommend stocking up on the dark bluish gray brick color, because that is the majority of what this uh, walker's color is. So anyway, starting at the bottom, my fellow LEGO fans will agree that the terrain came out pretty nicely. I used this knot technique, which is just bricks on their side, to create kind of a cracked effect in the earth there. And that's because the walkers are seen on a dry planet called Crate in the trailer. It's essentially very sandy, and it kind of looks to me like the surface of a lake bed that's been dried out, if you know what I mean. I'll include a little picture to show you what I mean in real life, but I think that's what the planet is modeled after. Uh, it's pretty brittle, and all the red that you see on my build right here is just some sort of salt that lies underneath the planet, which we can also see in the trailer. It gets kicked up, it's right below the surface, and anytime a walker or a skimmer flies over it, it digs into the ground, and knocks up a lot of red dust, which I think is a pretty cool addition, you know, it's a very different color from what we're used to, and I think it looks pretty cool. The back feet are very round and very similar to what we've seen on the at, -AT in the past, so I modeled them right after my UCS at, -AT that I told you about before. I basically used the same design, just changed the color. Uh, but the front feet are really what give the walker its gorilla-like stance, and I think it's probably the coolest aspect of the walker. Uh, they're much wider at the bottom, and they are a little bit blockier because, you know, they're more rectangular. But I do like the sharp protrusions on the front of them, and I don't really know what they're for in the movie because I haven't seen it yet. But I think they look pretty cool, and I also really like the hydraulic details that I added on the back. Um, obviously, they're no function here for the LEGO version, but they would perform some sort of foot actuation on the actual walkers, like we're probably going to see in the movie. So moving up to the hip joints, we can see that the hips are not at the same level as they are with the at, -AT. they're kind of staggered. So the front legs connect to, uh, at a higher level, and I think that makes it look even more massive. And I actually really like how it looks on the walker, I think that was a cool design. It makes it look a lot heavier than it actually is. The head is one aspect of the build that I am most proud of. I worked on this part last because it's always difficult for me to pull off the different slopes and angles that these ships always seem to have in the head area, but I do really like how this one came out. I used dark red tiles to get the visor effect underneath regular plates so that it looks like it's kind of layered right beneath it, which I really like. Um, as far as I can tell, the cannons on the side match the pictures pretty closely, and overall, the top hatch is easily removed, but I don't have anything inside of there just yet because I needed to keep the weight down. This walker is extremely heavy, and I don't need you know, weight up in the front for something that I can't actually see. I know a lot of people have... Uh, Kind of some issues with me not adding interiors a lot but it's just my style of building i don't really like to do it because i don't really look inside of the build too much i just kind of display the models directly behind the head is the large and thick brick built neck which supports the head i have some technic beams going through the neck which you can't see obviously because i did some work to hide them but they're pretty strong and they can hold the head no problem Above the neck is the Mega Caliber 6 cannon that the walker is named for. 
Now, obviously, at the time of filming this and recording this, I haven't seen the Star Wars movie yet because it's not out, but I'm sure that these cannons are going to cause quite a problem for the Rebels because they look like some massive weaponry. The actual cannon build was very simple. I just used some multi-studded bricks and connected some different arch parts, but I do like how it looks, and I added some greebling behind it to give it a nice Star Wars look. The main body of the walker is all supported by a complex Technic structure that you can see inside. Uh, I won't really open it up and show you the skeleton of the walker just now because you can see that stuff in my building series on this channel of this walker. I filmed myself building a lot of different parts of it and I put it all on YouTube. So if you guys are really interested in it, please go check those out and share them with your friends. And so that basically concludes the showcase of my walker. Obviously there are other sections, but those are just the main sections that I've shown you there. If you really want to see more, like I said, you can check out the videos on my channel. And you can also check out my Flickr, which is just cpgamers underscore YouTube on Flickr. Uh, it was a blast to build this walker and I really had a good time. And thank you so much to the people who have been following me for a long time. And those of you who are just finding me now, thank you so much. It means that my old fans are sharing this video, which is something that I really want. I want to expand. Uh, but just thank you so much. And I really don't think I would be able to continue my hobby of Lego building without people like you. So once again, thank you so much. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like and share the video with your friends. As well as subscribe because I make lots of cool Lego creations like this one. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about the build. So comment down below and I'll respond to as many people as I can. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys with another build.